Armstrong? Just making sure there's only the two of us. You didn't enjoy the weekend? I loved it. Honestly. Think Annie had a good time? Let's just talk about us. <laughs> she laughed. You're bored. So I thought, okay, you can recognize the words in the circles. What if the words aren't in the circles? She got it straight off. No mucking about. No mistakes. Just the words. And it might be enough in a lectureship. It's nice and safe. After all these years, I deserve a break, don't I? But I'll be sorry to lose you. Those who can do, those who can't teach, eh? Okay, young lady, let's see what you've mastered this week. Do you want to tell me something? Okay. Now, let's get your head back so you can see the board. smoking in the corridors. <laughs> o, T, O, O. Is that right? Two. She spelled complete sentences. I see. You held her arm. Oh, that's not it. Please come and see her. Come and see for yourself. You can't just dismiss all this. Jessica, I think you should talk to a doctor. I am. Robert, that help it's doing me. I spent most of my day getting my car fixed. And the other guy's car fixed. That was a very expensive argument, Annie. It was something of a luxury. If you'd passed that bloody test, I'd be $200 richer. Not that I'm blaming you, my name. It's not your fault you're as thick as two short planks. Thick as a brick, eh, Annie? Nothing personal. Well, you two seem to be getting on famous. What's the matter, Annie? You want a drink? You want to say something? The other guy's an absolute ass. His insurance company's being totally unreasonable. Hey. Stick. Car won't be yes. up until next Thursday. They said it wouldn't be ready till next week, but I, uh, I heavy them. Thought we'd go to the coast for the weekend. Haven't been there for ages. You. P. Ah. Stick short planks up. Annie, it doesn't make any sense. D. A. V. David. Six short planks up, David. Good God. What you been? Hey, I don't want you telling tales. I'm sure you've all seen a lot of things you shouldn't have seen. But there's nothing I can do about it. Look what's that. Well, it's mobile making time. What's wrong, eh? You see, the problem is that the rest of the hospital staff doesn't believe her. Oh, I don't think that matters. Whether the allegations are actually true or not isn't important, as long as they're her allegations and not yours. Yes, but they don't believe that she communicates with me. They think she's profoundly retarded. Ah. Oh. You see, she can't talk. She spells things out on an alphabet board. Oh, there's no problem then, with Jessie holding her arm. Oh. It's perfectly clear, when you know what to look for. They're saying then that you have libeled the hospital staff by moving this girl's arm to spell out defamatory matter on an alphabet board. Yes. Although if you spoke the letters aloud, I suppose that might make it slander. Interesting point. Look, I don't care about the legal niceties of it. Somebody's tried to kill that girl, they might do it again, and I want to get her out. Oh, well, that's a different situation, isn't it? Does Miss O'Farrell want me to represent her in court? You'll have to ask Annie herself. Oh, 
creatures in the world. We were each marooned in our private cage. The implacable hatred of the whole world which hunted handicapped children into midden like dreadful, twisted my relationships with people for years. Dr. Rao is particularly well qualified to express an opinion in this matter. Holding a doctorate in medicine and being a fellow of the Royal College of Psychiatrists, he has been superintendent of the hospital for a number of years. In 1981, it was decided to close the hospitals and resettle the children in special houses in the community. Jessie and I published a book about our experiences. I'm currently studying for my Bachelor of Arts degree at Deakin University. The three of us still live together.